Welcome to All Theory, No Conspiracy. Don't forget to like, subscribe, click to receive notifications, and leave a comment. Maria Orsic, a.k.a. Maria Orsic, was born on October 31st, 1895. Her father, Thomas, was an architect who hailed from Zagreb, Croatia, and her mother, Sabine, was a German ballerina from Vienna. Maria Orsic would become a famous medium who later became the creator and leader of the Vril Society. It was also claimed that Maria made contact with beings from Aldebaran, which is 68 light years from Earth. Were the Germans given detailed plans to build flying saucer craft by Maria Orsic? As a young adult after World War I, Maria identified with the German National Movement, whose goal was to unite Austria with Germany. In 1919, Maria moved to München, where she fell in with a group that represented and perpetuated her nationalistic ideals the Tool Society. The group was made up of Orsic, occultist Karl Haushofer, Baron Rudolf von Sabatendorf, and Lothar Weiss. It was not long before Maria created her own group, together with several other friends. The Alduch Gesellschaft für Metaphysik, which was the official name of the Vril Society. All members of her group were young women who had very long hair, which they wore in ponytails. Wearing their hair in this manner made them easily identifiable as members of the group. Maria was recognized as the founder and leader of the Vril, who affiliated with the Nazi party and became one of their secret societies. The Vril named themselves after an ancient Sumerian word Vril, meaning godlike. This was a result of Orsic receiving communication from extraterrestrials who lived in Sumeria before leaving Earth for the Aldebaran star system many years before. In December 1919, members of Tool and DHVSS, Diherin Vom Schwarzenstein, the Lords of the Black Stone, met with Maria Orsic and another medium, known only as Sigrun. Maria claimed to have received telepathic transmissions from off-Earth beings which included technical data for the development of a flying aircraft. The messages were given in a secret German Templar script a language she didn't understand. These telepathic messages originated in Aldebaran, a solar system 68 light years away in the constellation Taurus, according to Vril records. The mysterious language turned out to be Old Sumerian and hence the language of the ancient Babylonian cultural builders. The Vril Society Sigrun assisted in translating the language and deciphering the unusual mental visions of a circular flight machine. Members of the Vril Society believe that the Aldebaranians arrived in Mesopotamia when the Earth became more habitable and that they were the Sumerians' dominant caste. White God People, or Aryans, was the name given to the Aldebaranians. The construction drawings and technical data received by the telepaths were so perfect that they envisioned the development of a vehicle for flight into space. The idea of alternative science grew in popularity. It took three years for the project to get started. Dr. W. O. Schumann, 
a member of the Tool and Vril Societies, presented a lecture at the Faculty of Science in Munich regarding other technology or other science. The Vril Society met with other groups to explore a possible voyage to Aldebaran to meet the aliens by building Nazi UFOs. Notes on this space mission are explored in Black Sun, Aryan Cults, Esoteric Nazism, and the Politics of Identity, a recent extensive investigation of Nazi occultism. Maria and Sigrun attended a gathering sponsored by Vril in the beach resort of Kohlberg in December of 1943. The meeting's main goal was to discuss the Aldebaran project. The Vril mediums had received detailed information about the habitable planets orbiting Aldebaran's sun, and they were eager to travel there. On the 22nd of January, 1944, Hitler, Himmler, Dr. W. Schumann, professor of the Technical University of Munich, and Kunkel of the Vril Society met to discuss the concept one more. The Vril 7 large capacity vessel was to be sent to Aldebaran using a dimension channel independent of the speed of light. The first test flight in the Dimension Channel, with the craft being tethered to create a de facto Stargate, occurred in late 1944, according to writer N. Rathofer. The test flight nearly ended in disaster because the Vril 7 appeared as if it had been flying for a hundred years after the mission concluded. Its exterior skin appeared wrinkled and damaged in various spots. Legend has it that in 1945, Maria Orsic vanished. On March 11, 1945, the Vril Society distributed an internal document to all of its members. It was a letter authored by Maria Orsic. Niemand bleibt hier, which translates to no one remains here, is how the letter concluded. This was the Vril's final announcement. Maria and the other members haven't been heard from since. It was believed by some at the time that they escaped to Aldebaran. There is also a belief that the Aldebaran story was a misdirection and that the real destination was the base that was supposedly established in Antarctica at New Swabaland. This was the real reason behind the racial purity and breeding programs. This is also allegedly where the over 100 submarines that Allies counted as missing were sent, along with countless cargo ships. In the book, The Morning of the Magicians, by Louis Powells and Jacques Berger, they go into detail about the rationale for the final solution and provide sources that this was thought of as a mass sacrifice that would cleanse the world of racial impurity and would help to open a portal for the coming of the new Aryan master race and the supermen who would soon rule. Shortly after the Nazis rose to power, a writer named Peter Bender, who had come under the influence of an American occult group, convinced some Nazi leaders to believe in a variation on the Hollow Earth theory. Bender's Hallwelt theory argued that the Earth was a vault within an endless field of matter. The sun was somewhere in the middle of this vault, and the stars in the sky were the lights of cities from the other side, or in some versions, large chunks of ice. SS leaders Rudolf Hess, Wilhelm Landig, and Karl Maria Milligut developed a cult based on the Nordic pantheon, esoteric rituals, and pseudo-anthropology. 
Landig, already a major influence on the Occultist Tool Society that influenced National Socialist theology in its earliest days, developed the Black Sun as the cult symbol. A Nazi cultural reform emerged that altered mathematics, psychology, and physics. It is possible that the rejection of Einstein's theory of relativity in place of Deutsch physics prevented the Nazis from developing nuclear technology and many other weapons. The master race ideology, which paved the way to the final solution, diverted resources and became such a great distraction that it probably cost Hitler the war. There will be links to five articles about Maria Orsic, the Vril, and Tool Societies, and of the Nazis' belief about a master race and Hollow Earth. Also links to two YouTube videos, with information about Maria Orsic, the Vril Society, and Nazi UFOs, in the description below this video. The End? Stay tuned for more content from All Theory, No Conspiracy. Thank you for watching.